Okay, this is a quick test of the iRig Mic HD Digital and the Cable Jive Lightning Extender. And it works beautifully. But what's really interesting is it doesn't work with the Apogee Mic Digital, which I've used. Which, for some reason, Apogee, you might like to tell me. There seems to be a ground loop or some hiss or interference. I can plug in my Apogee mic digital and it's fine. Plug it into this and it's no good. But the iRig mic HD is perfect. So, so maybe someone would like to tell me what the difference is. So it's not really cable jive's fault. I think it's more to do with the Apogee. I may have to return it. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, so this is the Apogee Clip Mic Digital. And as you can hear, there's an infuriating ground loop or sound in the background when used with the cable jive lightning extender. Now watch what happens when I just use the Clip Mic Digital on its own. And this is an example of the Clip Mic Digital plugged straight into the iPhone but it doesn't work with the extender, unfortunately, the uh, cable jive extender. So if you want to extend some distance, judging from this, and you want it to go in digitally, I would just stick with the HD, iRig HD mic, because then you can actually get some distance between you and your subject if you need that big panoramic uh, background to what you're doing for flavor or whatever. But uh, it won't work with the Apogee Clip Mic Digital. No. So if you want to do um, an interview at distance for, I don't know, effect, and you just want that little bit wider uh, shot, say if you're in a conference or something like that and you're using a wide angle lens, forget it. Um, but it does work with the iRig HD. So I think maybe Apogee need to get together with cable drive and see what's going on here because this one works and this one doesn't those are my findings anyway